Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is choose and swap. This problem is a greedy level problem and this problem has a success percentage of 47%. Now let us read and understand the problem statement. In the problem statement, you are given a string S of lower case English alphabets only. That is lower case A to lower case Z. And now what you can do is you can choose two characters in the string. So you need to choose two characters. Suppose it is A and suppose it is B. Now and we need to replace the first character with the second. So basically you need to replace all the occurrences of A to B and B to A itself. Now, our aim is to find the lexicographically smallest string. So, lexicographically smallest string means that the string appearing in the dictionary order should be the first itself or the lowest as possible. Now, let us try to solve the sample test case. So, we have C, C, A and D. So, we can see that if we are able to replace C with a smaller character, then its lexicographically rank would decrease by significant amount, okay? And if we decrease this, then this would decrease by lower amount. So you can see, say, as in the bit problems, that this is the most significant bit and this is the less significant bit, okay? Now what we can do is, replacing the first character with A is feasible and D also is feasible, which is more feasible, which is more useful. So C, if replaced with D, it would make the rank go higher. Okay. And that won't be used for us. So we can replace A with C itself. And then we can have A, A and C and D. This is how the solution is coming up. Now, let us discuss the next scenario. Now, what we need to do is, we need to try the first character or any character the first starting we would start with from the first most character and then we need to replace it with a lower character and from lower character we can start checking we can start so suppose the character is d first character is d what we can do is we can first check if a is present or not if a is present we would do it suppose a is not present then we would see if B is present or not. Suppose B is not present, we won't do it. So B and then C, we would do and we would see. So we would go till the point less. Why? Because replacing it with the same occurrence won't be any use. And replacing it with the character that is greater than that won't be of much use. So we would do the same thing only. First, we would store if it is present or not. So that we don't need to iterate over the whole string again. So, to save it, we would use a vector of size 26. Initially, all the indexes would be minus 1. Now, moving forward, we would check for each character. If we are able to do it, we would move forward. Now, when you I would talk about the implementation, it would be more clear. Okay. So, I'm more accustomed to using S as the string. So, I would remove it. Next, what I would do is, I would have a vector of int and name it as f because frequency 26 and minus 1 with all the initial values okay now what i would do is i would iterate on all the elements with their indexes i plus plus so basically we would be needing the size a lot so let's size n is equals to s dot size itself okay now if s f of s of i minus the value of a to make it 26 only is equal to equal to minus 1 that means if till now we have not found this value but now we have found it so now what we can what we need to do is we need to save this value then f of s of i subtracted by a is equals to the i itself so if you notice suppose if a is there at multiple indexes 0 1 and 2 then only the 0th value would get saved Okay, now what we would do is we would have two characters to save it. Then what are the characters? We need to swap itself. Okay, then the character this would be initialized with X. Okay, and then 
suppose C is also initialized with X itself. Now we would iterate over the whole string. So int i equals to zero, i is less than n, and i plus plus. So now if if so we would start with a character cmp we would start with the first character itself that is a okay and then we would make it boolean okay is equals to false so that we would know if we have got a character or not and then we would start an iteration where we would go from a till a value that is less than that value so if s of i okay then what we can do is if the position of cmp okay if the position of cmp minus a is greater than the current index okay is greater than the current index what we would do is we know that we need to swap that suppose the current index was c and we found a b character so we need to save it so r is to be the swapped value so r is equals to the cmp value and then we need to use c is equals to s of i the character and then we need to break off from this because we can't update it because suppose a we are updating it then b we are updating it then we would get the largest character that is possible but we don't want we want the minimum character so we would break from this point itself but before breaking we would just save okay that yes we have got a value because we can use this value at most once so this while loop has broken and suppose we have got a value so if ok is equals to true that means we were able to find a value so we would break from this loop also okay so let me just check again the last loop that we have written so this is where we are storing the size and then we are going from int i is equals to zero and then the first character cmp is equals to zero and if we are able to find the value of cmp is suppose a value less with whose index is greater than the current index we are saving that value we are making ok as one and then we are breaking from it now what we would do is we would iterate with the auto and and thing of e of s so if e is equals to equals to r then we need to update e is equals to c and then else if e is equals to equals to r then we need to update it with r is equals to c and then we would return that return the value of s itself so now let me just check for the compile and run and yes we are getting a correct output at this point so we would just submit and see yes we are able to find the correct output so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day